Hey y'all, what's up? It's your girl Sunray here. First, I have a announcement slash message. And then I have, um, it's not really just a prophetic word, but it's more so a confirmation of what the Lord spoke to me in the live the other day, all right? And so um, first things first is that tonight we have Bible study, all right? So Bible study is on Zoom and the topic is the counsel of God. Now, every week, y'all know I am inviting y'all to Bible study but, and I always say, this is the one you have to attend. But here we go again. This is the one. If you have been debating about whether or not you should attend, tonight you should attend. The Lord is speaking about impartations and activations. And I'm just looking like, who? <laughs> and so tonight is about the counsel of God, all right? And so this is going to be very important, especially those people who um, believe that the Lord has a high level promotion for you. You want to make sure that you're in Bible study tonight because there's something about the atmosphere and you're going to need to be there even now whatever he put in my belly earlier I just feel it like, oh it's, it's it's rising up by the end of the day it'll be there right but that's the first thing is to make sure you're in Bible study Bible study happens tonight Tuesday December 12th 1212 12, and then that's another reason you want to make sure you're there because we're going to talk about that 1212 12, okay but also just make sure you're there. And so it happens at 5 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you need a ticket, just go to the website at www.thehealingprophecy.com forward slash Bible dash study. And um, you'll be able to access the ticket information there. For people who have already signed up, I know some people weren't able to retrieve the, the link for the Zoom. Don't worry, 30 minutes before Bible study, I will be sending out a personalized email to everyone with that information, all right? So just make sure you guys sign up today by 4.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time so that you don't miss it, all right? So that's Bible study. Divine impartations, I mean, yeah, impartations, activations, and um, really speaking about these next level, high level promotions that the Lord said he is doing. And so let's get into this other part. Um, what's so interesting is the same burden that fell on me yesterday fell on me as soon as I started talking about the confirmation for that word. And it just keeps hitting me. And so what do I mean? It just keeps hitting me. The glory of God. Y'all, I have been feeling like I've been getting knocked out left and right all day every day constantly concerning what the lord is doing in this hour people that know y'all know y'all be like ah the glory be ah. and so um what i specifically want to talk about was yesterday um i was at the dog park with jade and then the burden came and you know obviously you deal with the burden how the lord the holy spirit leads you to and so you know i'm there and it would not leave. <laughs> it, it would not leave. It was just like fire shut up in my bones. Like, you know how Ezekiel, not, is, it, is Ezekiel or is it, I forgot who said it. I think it is. Y'all don't get me lying. One of the major prophets in the Old Testament, he said, it's like fire. Wasn't it Jeremiah? I don't know. Y'all saying it in the comments, so y'all know the answer. But um, he was like, it's like fire shut up in my bones. It's like fire shut up in my bones. And literally, that's exactly what it was. And so it wasn't until later on when I worshipped that, because as soon as I got home, I said, oh, God, I have to worship. Didn't eat all day, nothing. And I'm just like, oh, God, I got to worship. Through worship, it was let out. And when I tell you, all I could keep saying was, it's going to be so big. It's so big. It's so big. And as I kept saying, it's so big, I kept feeling like, who? Glory. It's so big. Who? Glory. It's so big. Who? Glory. Kind of how I feel right now. And I'm just like, Lord, it's so big. And so he was confirming this through scripture because he kept bringing me to Ephesians 3.20. And so when we look at Ephesians 3.20, it says greater than you can imagine. All right. And so the last three days or two days, uh, well, specifically Sunday and um, yesterday, the Lord, sh well, last two days, duh, girl, what you talking about? The Lord showed me the word in vision. And so when you think of the word in vision, when you look it up in the dictionary, it says to imagine, to, to uh, perceive, to say like, oh, I can see myself doing this. So I, I'm like, okay, Lord, I'm envisioning what, what's, what's going on, right? Ha, 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 boom. But 
the Lord said it's bigger than what you envision. And so it's bigger than what you imagine. A direct connection with Ephesians 3.20. And I don't know who the words that I've been speaking for, the revelations that I've been speaking for, who it's for in this season. But God wants you to know that it is bigger. It really is bigger than what you imagine. And it's so big to the point God said, I have to help you birth it. Come on, Holy Spirit. He said, I have to help you birth it. That is why you've noticed my glory just hovering around you. My glory is not only protecting you, because even if we read in Revelation, isn't it Revelation 12, 12, where it speaks about the, the woman that gave birth in the wilderness and then he gave her wings of an eagle to fly away and have rest for her? Yeah, isn't that it? But anywho, if it's not it, y'all know what I'm talking about. And, and, and his presence comes in and it it's protecting you. But also more importantly, the glory of God is what's going to help you push. Because remember, we talked about how in a previous live in Zechariah 2 and 5, where it says, I will um, surround Jerusalem with a ring of fire. I will surround her with a ring of fire and my glory will rest on on her amen and so when we speak about a ring of fire when a woman's giving birth that is the moment at which she's crowning and so when a woman's crowning it's not how not about say god says it's not too many days henceforth amen we already know he said this week things are coming forth for some people right but he said not too many days henceforth and so anywho back to what i was saying we know at that moment it's not too long before that baby comes out and you give birth. So a lot of you are literally right at the crowning. Amen. You're right at the crowning. And y'all, when I was in midnight prayer this morning, I kid y'all not, I could show y'all my journal to tell y'all I'm not lying. The Lord spoke about the crown, but he was speaking about a royal crown, like people being crowned. But you see how the royal crown and then the crowning, it, it connects. But anywho, and so your moment is coming, your moment to be crowned, your moment of uh, your moment of exposure and not exposure in a bad way, but where the Lord's light is shining upon you. Mind you, this is all the Lord just bringing back the words from this past week. And so the sole focus right now, though, is that a lot of you are in this place where it's coming out. But the Lord is saying it's so big that I have to help you push. It almost reminds me of Hezekiah when he said, you know, we we are at the point of birthing, but we don't have the strength to push. Some of you may have grown so weary carrying the promise. And even too, I'm not even going to lie. Maybe you're not weary. At the end of the day, this thing is so big that the Lord himself has to help you push it out, period. It's, it's that big. And I know I keep saying it reminds me, but also the Lord is bringing back into remembrance. Last year on my way to LA, I kept seeing these big old trucks that had oversized load. And the thing about the oversized load is that there was an envoy or a convoy, I think. It's another car that drives behind it to ensure that the other people don't get close to it. And so for some of you, the Lord has kind of pulled you back. He's kind of isolated you, but it's so that you can give birth to what it is that he's doing in this hour. And some of you, just like a mother, when she first gives birth, she kind of goes a little private. So some of y'all, when these promises come forth or what promotion comes forth, y'all might go a little bit private, okay? And the Lord has already spoken to some of you concerning this. But look, I did not get on here to intend to say all of that, but thank you, Holy Spirit. And so um, pretty much though, what the Lord was just saying to me is that it's just so much bigger than you even imagine. And he's like, that's why my presence is so heavy. Because when there's a great manifestation of God coming forth, signs, miracles, wonders, his presence is there. We can just focus on the Israelites going into the uh, leaving uh, Exodus, the, the great Exodus, right? The presence of the Lord was so great with them because it was so many people that had to be moved. Imagine your womb. It's so much that has to be pushed out. Amen. And so prayerfully, this makes sense to y'all. Prayerfully, I see y'all in Bible study tonight. And also know if you can't make it to Bible study, that is completely fine. We have the Bible study replays, which I will be uh, posting tonight immediately after Bible study. We always have a great discussion. I'm looking forward to the great discussion topics today. Anywho, I love you all so much and I'll talk to you in the next one.